Hey teachers, you know these days when you don't feel like teaching? I've been there. So I gathered some warm-ups that need zero preparation for when you're not in the mood to teach. Okay, our first warm-up is three questions. In this activity, you will write three questions in your slides or in the board, which introduce the theme of your lesson. For example, if you're gonna talk about books, you could write, what's your favorite book? What was the last book you read? What kind of books do you prefer or you hate? Give the students some time to discuss the questions while you reconsider your life choices and then have students report back to the class. I know, you're thinking, but you said no preparation. Now you're asking me to think of three questions? I get it. Here is a link to a bank of conversation questions you can simply copy and paste. They cover most of the themes, so link is in the description below. Our second warm-up is make the most words. For this one, write a topical vocabulary item in your slides or in your board. Put students into groups and ask them to make as many new words from this word as they can. I like to use really long words, unless I want them to go crazy. So here are some example words I've used with mine and you can definitely use with yours. Finally, score teams a point pair word and see who made the most words. Our third warm-up or icebreaker. I honestly love to use the word icebreaker because um, I really love polar bears and polar bears live on ice so oh my god this is totally irrelevant and you know what the coming activity is actually more of a warm-up than an icebreaker so I'm sorry write the most words picture edition you are basically gonna do the exact thing we did in the previous activity you'll divide the students into groups and instead of using a word you're gonna show them a picture and they have to write as many words nouns adjectives or even verbs related to what they're seeing and to make it really fun and by fun i mean competitive to the point students pull each other's hair <laughs> not just kidding no touching remember anyway what i do is i tell the students that if they wrote a word that other teams didn't write they get double the points and sometimes i put a secret word in my mind and i tell the students if they wrote this specific word they get 10 points for that word only here i carefully choose a word from their lesson that i want them to remember forever our fourth and last warm-up or icebreaker because this one can be used as an icebreaker too so I'm gonna say it this icebreaker is called mixed up questions it's always good to start the class with some simple questions about the students away from the lessons so I made this emergency list of fun simple questions pre COVID-19 I would cut them into strips mix them and ask each student to pick one post COVID-19 I just ask them to pick a number and I read the question for them. It's always lovely when students share something about themselves and we get to know each other very well through their answers. If you want to use my own emergency list, link is in the description below. Time to say goodbye. I just want to thank you teachers for putting up with this crazy year and congrats you made it and you will always make it. I feel you, I love you, take care of your beautiful selves. <laughs>